These are side effects of the celiac plexus neurolytic block. The celiac plexus innervates critical abdominal organs, including the stomach, liver, pancreas, spleen, your intestines up to the sigmoid colon, your kidneys, and your adrenal glands. The primary purpose of the block is to manage chronic intractable abdominal pain. And some typical indications are for malignancy-related pain, like patients with pancreatic cancer, for instance. Brief overview of the procedure. Your first step is to diagnose the actual block and the block effectiveness with a local anesthetic. So you'll go in there and apply local anesthetic around the celiac plexus, which is shown in the background here. Once you've done that diagnostic block, you are reassured that blocking the celiac plexus prevents some of the pain in the patient. You can then do neurolysis with 50% alcohol or 6 to 10% phenol. There are some notable side effects for the celiac plexus neurolytic block. You have sympatholysis with the neurolytic block. This can lead to orthostatic hypotension caused by splanchnic vasodilation. This can be exacerbated by positional changes, and this can lead to tachycardia, which would be a com compensatory response to the hypotension. You can also get diarrhea from the unopposed parasympathetic tone. This increased cholinergic activity causes parasympathetic tone, which leads to diarrhea. And because you have sympatholysis, you don't have the opposing uh, autonomic neural pathway that would cause uh, normal stools or constipation. There are, are some other potentially serious complications. You can get retroperitoneal bleeding, abdominal aortic dissection, transient motor paralysis, and paraplegia.